So today we have something really cool, and this is from Camduck. Uh, look these up on the internet, and you'll see they make a couple different devices. They make a smoke detector, a power outlet, and a bunch of USB chargers, little small USB chargers. But they all have something really cool inside them, a hidden camera. So these are hidden camera devices. So if you're looking for like a nanny cam, a babysitter cam, or just a kid camera, some camera you want in your house so you don't want nobody knowing that it's a camera, check this company out. And this one here is, of course, the Camex. It's the outlet. You can see it comes with a manual. And it comes with the outlet. And you do get four fully functional power outlets, uh, two USB-A ports, and a USB-C port. And you just plug this in the wall, just like a normal device. And it'll boot up, connect to your wireless network, and then you can record and save pictures and get the video, that kind of thing. But you do need, if you want to record, you'll have to put your own SD card in, your micro SD card. And if you pick up this little port here under this cover, you can see there's a slot for a little micro SD card. So you have to supply that yourself. But uh, you don't need it if you just want to play around with it, but you do need it if you want to do some recording. But uh, pretty simple. It's more or less uh, plug it in, download the app, and connect it to your Wi-Fi, and you're good to go. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So download the CamDuck app on your Android or iOS phone, and let's configure it. Okay, so go to your phone, download the CamDuck app, and you see it's going to ask a couple questions. You want to allow the Bluetooth, want to allow Wi-Fi. So yes to those, allow that. And you can see it detected it right off the bat. And it takes a few minutes to connect. So you need to be a little bit patient here. But it goes pretty quick. Pretty simple setup. Um, the key is make sure you allow everything. Allow Bluetooth, allow Wi-Fi, allow, allow location. And it'll just connect and find it automatically. And be near, be near the uh, device. And there you go. So I think if we hit play here, we should see, there we go. It's giving some tips. And I got this sitting on the floor. It's just kind of kind of looking up through a table to the ceiling. But I'll go over there and kind of wave at you. You can see I can flip between the uh, resolution modes, the top. And you see I took a little video, a little snapshot. And you can rotate it so you get full screen. You can see a bunch of icons at the top. You can change the four megapixel, take a picture, take a video, and you can do a bunch of different flips. There, I'm kind of waving at you guys. Very nice little camera. As you can see, very easy to connect. Follow the instructions if you don't know how. Uh, but basically, turn it on, look in the app, and it'll find it right off the bat. Connect it to your Wi-Fi, and away you go. So let's plug it in and give it a test. I have a little power strip here so we can test it out. Or just plug it in here for now. And you'll see after a few seconds, you get some uh, blue lights and that it's booted up. But if you want to charge up your phone, you can plug in the USB port. Let me get it in the USB port. There we go. And if you want to use the outlets, you can use the outlets. I got like a little salt lamp here so you can kind of see it, that it does work, it does function. Let me get in there. And let's turn him on. And there you go. So this is fully functional. So if you just want an outlet, this is great. But if you're looking for like the nanny cam, that kind of thing, this is really great for that too. You'll see it'll boot up and it'll connect to the Wi-Fi. And you won't see the lights anymore. But uh, all in all, you really can't go wrong with this thing. Um, like I said, if you want something like a little covert, uh, just to watch maybe the nanny, the kids, or see what's going on in your house without people knowing there's a camera on them, this might be something you're looking for. So just check out Cam Duck.